Hi everyone, welcome to Coding Things. In this video, we are going to learn about what is filter function and how we can use it in Python. So let's get started. Now I am inside my VS Code and uh, I will create a list here. And uh, let's say I will create a list of numbers. So I'll write here 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, then you can see it is a list of numbers. Now I want to filter all the even numbers from this list. So to do that, we will use your filter function. So I'll write here, let's say the result is equals to, uh, we will use your filter function. So I'll write here filter and this filter function will take two parameter. One is function and another one is iterable object. So here the iterable object is this list. So let me create a function here. Let's say I will pass your even function and we will create that. So now I will pass this list. Okay, so now, we need to create this even function so i'll create a function here so i'll write here def and uh, i said def even and it will receive one number that is n and it will return whether that number is odd or even okay so i'll write here return and to check whether it is even or not so we'll write here n percentage 2 is equals to equals to 0 okay so if it is a even number then it will it this condition will be true and it will return true if it is a odd number then it will return false okay so now uh, we want the result in the form of a list so i will wrap up this filter function within a list function so i'll write here list and inside it i'll write filter function okay so now i will simply print the res that is the result okay so now if i run this file then you can see it is printing all the even numbers from this list okay so instead of writing this function we can use your lambda functions also so i'll remove all this uh, function so i'll remove this function from here and instead of even i will use your lambda so i'll write here lambda and then i'll receive one number that is n and i will simply check whether this n percentage 2 is equals to equals to 0 or not okay so now if i run this file again then you can see it is giving the same output okay so in this way we can use the filter function okay to filter some data from a iterable object so if you want to filter the odd numbers then you can do that instead of equals equals to zero here uh, we need to just write here not equals to zero okay so now if i run this file again it is printing all odd numbers okay so in this way we can use lambda function inside filter function and uh, this filter function to filter out the data okay this is it for now we will continue from this onwards in our next video thank you for watching this video